came to the Prophet Sallallahu and asked him this question. Tell me something that will make Allah love me and make the people love me. This is the golden question. We live in a world that is so interested in getting approval. And obviously we want the approval. We want the love of God, but we also want the love of people. But how can we balance that? Many of us have trouble with that balance. Why is it so important to answer this question? Because so many of us, especially now living um, in a very social media obsessed world and, 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 and this Instagram type of culture, we have become so focused on what people uh, think of us, on approval, on gaining likes, on gaining followers. This has become a focal point for many of us. And in that focus, a lot of us have lost our way. A lot of us have lost what really matters and how can we actually get genuine love from people, but at the same time, not compromise our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, what did the Prophet say? He gave us advice in this, in, in this hadith that is absolutely golden. That's why, you know, I, I call this the golden question. It's something every human being wants. And the Prophet ﷺ gave us the answer in such a simple but profound way. He said, izhad fid dunya. In other words, have zuhud in dunya. Um, do not be attached to this worldly life and Allah will love you. So the secret to getting the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he summarized in this very profound and simple way of do not be attached to this worldly life and God will love you. Now, this is something that we can, we can understand. I mean, it makes sense to us. We, 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 we probably know this at some point, but it's difficult maybe to get there. But the second part is very interesting um, in which the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi says something which maybe we weren't aware of. And that is, he says, Izhad or have zuhud, do not be attached to what is in the hands of people and the people will love you. Now that just blows my mind because um, you can understand this in different ways. And of course, there's different layers uh, in the understanding of this very profound prophetic statement that to not be attached to what is in the hands of people. Well, at one level, it means that whatever people have, uh, whether that is of uh, things, of material things, of power, of status. Do not covet what others have. You know, no one really likes that jealous friend who's always wanting what they have or is always envious, is always coveting that which they have. And so the Prophet is telling us, do not covet what others own. Do not covet what others have and people will like you more. People will love you more. And then there's another level, uh, another layer uh, to this, which is very, very interesting and relevant to the world we live in right now of this, uh, as I mentioned before, this social media type obsessed world uh, where we're chasing after the things that people can give us. Uh, and that is, do not be attached to what people have in their hands that they can give you and the people will love you more. Now, what does that mean? What do people have in their hands that they can give us? Well, this applies to love, respect, uh, admiration, praise, acceptance. These are the types of things which oftentimes we chase after, that we, we want to get from people. And sometimes the more we chase it, the more it runs away from us. The Prophet ﷺ is teaching us here, that you don't get acceptance from people by chasing after it. You don't get respect from people by begging for it. You don't get these things from people, what is in their hands, by, by coveting it, by, by begging them for it. You know, people actually have more of a respect for someone who isn't chasing after their approval. People have more of a respect for someone who holds to their principles and isn't just begging for approval from others. So it's a very, very profound and, 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 and uh, all-encompassing way to, to tell us how to be more uh, upright and how to be a person that is, in fact, respected by others and loved by others, but it doesn't come by chasing that. And so... Uh, this is, is one of those uh, pieces of content that I will be covering and, and, and much more uh, in my class. Um, my name is Yasmin Mujahid and I'm teaching Transformed. Uh, it's a class that's about the principles of spiritual development. Um, it's a class and a topic that I'm extremely passionate about. It's something I've been teaching uh, for you know more than a decade. Um, this particular class I've been teaching for many years around the world 
Um, and it's, it's a topic that I'm very, very, I feel very strongly about. And the reason is that I've seen how it transforms people's lives, uh, that, that, that just by changing the way we think and the way we, we respond to the world, to the dunya, to people, to the creation and to the creator, we can absolutely, uh, revolutionize our lives and transform. Keep in mind that transformed is no longer taught on site. And so this is your only opportunity to get this content, um, content that's extremely relevant to our everyday life. Uh, so for that reason, make sure you don't delay in signing up um, and, and, and get that opportunity. Oh. 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 Oh.